So our next step is to work on the inside of the card. And we are going to uh, work on this tiny little metal piece here, which we've used the fabulous new stuff from 10 Second Studio. Uh, we have their models in all different colors. And um, the color I'll be using, this is a copper color. Um, for the card that we're creating today, I'm going to be using Dijon. Um, and you'll see what really cool effects that we can get while sanding it. But we're going to be embossing it with the cuddle bug first. And um, then we'll do a little sanding and I'll be showing you that next. So we're going to be building the inside of our card and I have uh, a piece of our Dijon metal um, from 10 Second Studios. This comes in a regular eight and a half by 11 sheet and there are four sheets to a package. And uh, it's Dijon on one side and then silver on the other side, which is a really cool thing and you'll see why in just one second. So I need a tiny little piece for the inside of my card, and um, so I'm going to just take my, ten, uh, my Tim Holtz scissors and cut a little piece off, and I can actually trim this down if I want. Then I'm going to place it inside my script cuddle bug folder. This is an A2 folder. And I'm going to send it through my cuddle bug. So I've got my A spacer plate, my B cutting pad, and then I put another B cutting pad over it. And you'll see you don't need anything else shoved in there. This stuff embosses so smoothly. It's, it's almost like butter. It's crazy. So we're just going to send this through. And you can see with what ease I sent that through with. And I'm going to open my script folder and my model is embossed, but that's not the coolest part, although that is cool. Um, I'm going to take, since my key is silver and my keyhole is silver, and I know there's silver on the back of this piece, watch what happens when I use this snow block and take it over the metal. So, I'm going to sand that a little bit more, and then I'm going to find my card here. And I need a piece to go over the inside of the card here. So I'm going to adhere that, place that right in the middle. Okay. So I still have my card flipping. And then this is going to go here, and it's just a tad long. So I might trim it just a little on both ends here. Okay, so that will go there. And then I need to grab my dream key, which over here. And I'm going to be using um, the Silver Dreams key because that matches our Tim Holtz stamp. And which one is it? And like I said, these um, alcohol ink colors these, so that is a super cool thing to do if you if it doesn't match your um, color palette. So that can be put on there, and I'm going to need a brad from our keyhole package. I'm looking for a silver one. I think that might be silver. Okay. And I'm just going to pick a spot and poke it right through the metal. Okay, so that pushes pretty easily right through there. 
And then I'm just going to bend my brad ends back. So that is attached. And you could even um, put a tiny piece of double stick tape on the back there so that the key doesn't swing around. And I think I'll actually do that. I found a piece of blue paper to um, complement the design so far. And actually, I'm going to take my Tim Holtz paper distressing tool around the edges a little bit. And that actually complements the Dijon really nicely. So I'm just going to adhere that part and adhere the metal. So our swing card is totally complete. We have used um, this really new product for us from 10 Second Studio, the model, which we think is going to be just all the rage and um, the next best thing for us um, and probably for you too. So hope you have enjoyed this um, project. If you have any questions or suggestions, please let us know at customcrafts.com. Uh, we have an 800 customer service number or you're more than welcome to send us an email.